I want to farm some hard clue scrolls. And what I mean by farm is I want to do hard clue scrolls as fast as possible. A lot of completionists out there have the same goal in mind. And the go-to method for this is ninja impling jars, but they can be incredibly costly. When you open these jars, you have a 1 in 25 chance of getting a hard clue scroll. The jars themselves give you an average loot of 12.6k. On average, it's going to cost you 890k to get one hard clue scroll from ninja impling jars. Before I consider the actual rewards I get from the hard clue scrolls, it's going to cost me 89 mil to acquire 100 hard clue scroll caskets. When you do factor in that the average loot of a hard clue scroll is 140k, I'm projected to have about 14 mil in loot on average from the 100 caskets, so I am at a loss of 75 mil every 100 clue scrolls by opening ninja impling jars to acquire those hard clue scrolls. So I scoured the wiki for a cheaper way to obtain hard clue scrolls. And I learned a couple of things. First, Hellhounds have a 1 in 64 chance of dropping a hard clue scroll. Second, they have a 1 in 32 chance if you're taking them down in the wilderness and if you have an imbued Ring of Wealth equipped. Not only this, the hard combat achievements, if you've completed that tier, it's going to knock it down from 1 in 32 to 1 in 30, which I happen to have as well. So 1 in 30 chance at Hellhounds in the wilderness with the Ring of Wealth imbued equipped to get a clue scroll. To me, that sounds really good and a lot better than spending all that money. Basically killing one Hellhound saves you 30,000 GP, especially at high levels with great gear. You can take down a lot of Hellhounds and each one's racking up 30k. So that's pretty insane and I'm going to give this a try now. So if you haven't noticed by now, I'm cheap. Please activate Windows. But there's one thing you should also know about me. I'm also petty. Whenever I go into the wilderness, I do not risk much at all. I have no choice when it comes to the imbued wealth. It's going to lose that charge, but that's okay. The ring is about 12k. The scroll is about 10k. So about 22k in total, but I would lose that scroll, so about 10k. Uh, along with just supplies because I'm heading to the wilderness not risking much so let's give this a try see how it goes see how long it takes obviously not the best gear I'm not using a cannon not the highest speed whatsoever but it shouldn't take me too long to kill 30 hellhounds using this gear so I'm gonna go ahead and get to work and we'll see how long it takes. I promise you, before I started recording for this video, I came out to these hellhounds, brought this gear, killed one hellhound, and just to test, killed one hellhound, got a clue, first kill. I'm over drop rate currently, it's not too horrible. 37 kills in. Yeah, it's, it's taking now 38 times as long as the first clue did, so. I wish I was recording then, but I wasn't, so now I am. And here is kill number 39 coming up. Here is the long sought after clue scroll. It took me 65 kills this time, over double the drop rate, interestingly enough. Kind of painful, especially doing that off task. Not at least getting Slayer XP from that, just literally getting ranged XP. Scroll number 5, coming in, 158kc. So that's clue number 10, and the loot tab in rune light, I am at 247kc. So I got really lucky. 1 in 24.7 hellhounds dropped me a clue while the drop rate is 1 in 30. Alright, here are my 10 hard clue scroll caskets. It took me 247 hellhounds, an average of 1 in 24.7. Got equally as lucky with opening the ninja impling jars. 
it would have taken me 206 ninja implings to get these 10 caskets, which would have costed me approximately 7.3 mil. So basically the question comes down to would I rather pay 7.3 mil to get these 10 caskets or kill 247 hell hellhounds? For me personally I'd rather take the hellhounds, but I could imagine if you were fully maxed out and you weren't interested in 200 mil XP or anything like that, and you had all the gear you wanted, and GP isn't really that important to you, it would make sense if you just bought Ninja Implings instead. So that, if you're absolutely in the end game, but if you're not in the end game, I've still got Herb Lore, still got Construction, Prayer uh, to take care of. Those are going to cost GP, so it, I definitely don't want to spend 7 mil for 10 hard caskets, but if someone was in the end game, I get it. That that's where it makes sense. Without any further ado, I know I'm saving up for the 100 hard clue scroll caskets, but for the sake of the video, let's open these 10 caskets. Let's see what we get here. Boom. Collection log right away. That's a good sign. That's what I love to see. 345k, that's no joke either. That's pretty. Oh my god. Is that another? Wait. The collection logs are just coming in. Is that another one? Yeah, the rune shield H3. War blessing. I've gotten like 10 of those by now. Uh, This is going really well so far. Three caskets in. Oh my god. I've had an unlock on every single casket until that one all right okay okay I've got to alk some things give me a moment imagine being an Iron Man man Sammy D had body and Sarah D had chaps or uh, boots rather that's insane as an Iron Man that would be crazy but let's go another unlock all right all right all right all right all right one casket left let's see what we get bunch of alcables okay hey I am not complaining that was a good 10 caskets that kind of makes me more excited to open those uh, hundred caskets up again and see what we get you know so looking forward to that when I open up the hundred caskets there's one more thing let's see the final loot from the ten caskets two mil average of 201.6 K per casket well over the 140 K average uh, nice very very nice I'm happy with that 